Cantor Audio, a division of recorded books, presents Jay's Journal by Anonymous. Edited by Dr. Beatrice Sparks. Narrated by Ramon Diocampo. Introduction At 7 a.m. January 3, 1978, a very distressed mother phoned. She said she had read an article about how I had prepared Go Ask Alice from an existing diary, and voices, not yet released, from personal interviews. How I hoped both books would help educate young people as to the problems and pressures and weaknesses of their peers, and make it easier for them to consider alternatives and make wise decisions in their own lives. The lady said her son, Jay, had kept a journal, a seminary book, and many papers and letters which she felt could also be of benefit to both kids and parents looking for answers and ways out. Jay, sixteen and a half years old, had been into witchcraft. How deeply, neither his mother nor his father had ever suspected, until after Jay put his father's pistol against his right temple and pulled the trigger. As Jay's mother and I plowed through the many containers of favorite footballs, basketballs, tennis rackets, trophies, diplomas, awards, letters, notes, books, etc., that she had not been able to part with, she remained calm and helpful. Only when she unfolded Jay's worn, stained, grub jacket at the bottom of the last box did she cry, telling me how she had put the leather patches on the elbows after his motorbike had gone out of control and spilled down the slope and into a tree how she had replaced the front pocket with an emblem he had picked up on a trip to Las Vegas, how he had stained the front lapel and shoulder, helping his dad bring a deer down on a pole slung over both their shoulders, how he had made the long slash on the right arm when he had rescued their cat, Hamlet, from the top of a 200-foot